Tonight, the city of Indianapolis announcing final plans for the Henry Street Bridge construction, including how they'll handle remains found at the site. The bridge, which will support Alonco's new headquarters on the west side of the White River, also overlaps with portions of the Green Lawn Cemetery. WRTV's Jessica Grunling was at a community meeting and takes a look at the plans to preserve history. This is the uh, the bright spot in, in all of this. A new approach to construction at the Henry Street Bridge and White River Innovation District. Instead of being led by contractors, the work will be led by archaeologists. Rather than um, treating the site as a potential for accidental discovery, we're going to be treating the site as a true archaeological um, process. That's what city officials unveiled at a community meeting Monday night, along with these renderings of what the Henry Street Bridge will look like. Significant sections of the project overlap with the former Greenlawn Cemetery, which is recognized as the city's first cemetery. The bridge overlaps with two of the four cemeteries. I think that, that that's the way it should have been, been done from the start. They're coming up with solutions that are going to help not only Indianapolis, but also the community. The project takes up just over an acre of the 20 plus acre site. But the city estimates that 650 or more graves could be unearthed during construction. Historians believe many of those graves have African-American remains. In this area, we can proceed uh, much more like we would in any cemetery project. Jeremy Wilson is a professor of anthropology at Indiana University, Indianapolis. He'll be working with a team of archaeologists as the bridge gets constructed. Progressively stripping the overburden uh, mechanically and then shifting to teams of archaeologists that will hand dig any graves or grave shafts that are identified. It's an approach that will allow for everyone to learn about the Circle City's first settlers. I think it's a great opportunity for us to be introspective about ourselves, finally know more about the people that created this city for us all to live in. In Indianapolis, Jessica Grundling, WRTV. City officials were asked about the remaining acres planned for 11 Park, but said they would not answer any questions related to that project.